think I believe this is the uh, one of all for it all of you. What's one of the favorites? Um, um, I believe that you have uh, these things uh, at home. One, uh, a duck. Uh, you're making so, a duck. Yeah, I'm gonna making a. I've never seen a duck. Duck. A dog. dog. Yeah. <laughs> A dog. See, I get shy now. Okay. <laughs> but what I say, I really, really need your help. Um, I need to help me. Are we making a chicken body? Yes. Okay, it is. let me tell them one thing real quick. We're okay. about to do this body. Once you learn this body, it is the base for your dogs, your yep. cats, your pigs, your monkeys, your gorillas, your all sorts of animals. You can literally yeah, make so almost all of them with this one body. And I joke because I call it the dead chicken fold because it does end up coming out. So we're gonna fold it, it's gonna turn two egg rolls into four egg rolls into a dead chicken. And it'll make sense in a couple minutes, it's just kind of an easy way to remember. So, you're gonna need help rolling it up, right? Of course. So on the count of three, Putu, let's help him out. One, two, three. Oh. Get it rolling, baby. Putu, you're supposed to help me count. <laughs> All right, yeah. I'm exciting now. <laughs> he's all excited now. Now you see how he just folded the towel in half because he's working with a smaller surface. But if you're at home, you could just stretch out the whole thing. He rolled one side to the center. Now he's going to roll the other side to the center on the count of three. One, two, three. Keep on rolling, baby. Keep on rolling, baby. On rolling, baby. Right to the center. I think I need more. One, two, and three. Keep on rolling, baby. They're not buying your whole shyness. Can right. you hold it up and show them the two egg rolls? Okay. Okay. I know it sounds kind of silly, but now we're going to take it, we're going to fold it in half, which makes it four, four egg rolls. And then what Hendra's going to do is he's going to reach down into each of the egg rolls. <laughs> he's modeling here. He's going to pull out all four corners of the towel. If you roll this too tight, you can't pull those corners out. So he's grabbing all four. You make sure you grab two in one hand and two in the other, but making sure they're opposite of each other, yep. or it will not work. Make sure you pull it in the right way, because if you pull it the same thing, it's going to be like... <laughs> it doesn't do anything exactly, so he's going to switch it. Oh. He's going to pull it nice and tight, and we've got a dead chicken. Can you hold it up and show what I mean by a dead chicken? <laughs> do you see where I get it? Yeah. Two egg rolls into four egg rolls into a dead chicken. This is where I start walking through the hallways tonight, and I hear two egg rolls, four egg rolls, people trying to fold it exactly the same. Yeah. But this body will get you most of the animals, and then the heads change, kind of like Putu was saying. Okay, I have a question. I so, have an answer. So, so as such, if this is if this is the core body, mm -hmm. on the nights when they're doing something more complicated, do you pre-roll those? Pre-roll the body? Everything is done in your stateroom that okay. night. The goal... Here, I'll just I'll do my whole little history thing. When we first brought out the towel folding program, it was probably coming up seven, eight years ago now. And when it was part of our signature of excellence program, so every stateroom got a towel label at the end of each evening. Well, the guys, when it was brand new to the company, they were handed a sheet of paper and said, here, learn this. The goal is for them to fold it in your stateroom in under a minute so that it doesn't take away from anything else that we have to do. It just adds something fun to it. If they were to pre-roll them, that would be a lot of extra stuff for them to carry. But often, if you walk up and down the hallways in, in the morning or in the evening, you'll see them with their closets open with their stacks of fresh towels that were brought up from laundry that morning. So nothing's pre-rolled. It's all done right in your room. Yep. Sounds like they asked about the kitchen. Do you pre-bake anything? <laughs> well, no, but I do, I do know that if they have any downtime in the kitchen, they're rolling silverware. <laughs> right? That's on the Lido. That's yeah, on yeah, the I mean, they, they roll silverware like it's their job. Yeah. Yeah. But it is. Okay, um, now it's the for the head. Now for the head. We just use the hand towels, all right? And again, you could make a smaller one, like a puppy dog. Is that, yep. a, is that a dog thing? Yes. Okay, if you, if you want to make a smaller one, he just did the same body, but out of a hand towel instead of the body towel. And for the head, instead of using the hand towel, he used a washcloth. So the exact same thing just scaled down. Yep. So for the head, I don't know which head you're going to do today, so I'm going to... Yeah. This is... Um, I need your um, co oh. this concentration to make it different because it's a little bit. Uh, oh, you need to one. concentrate. Yeah. Okay. You have to you. put this. <laughs> okay. Just make it to like this. So you folded it just perfectly in half. Yes. And then just put your finger in here. So he put his finger in the center. He just folded it into a triangle at the top, and then he's going. Are you going to put the triangle under? Yes. Yeah. Like I said, I've learned all their different ways, but I don't know which one they're going to pull out at any moment. So he's going to flip that point under, and what that point is going to become is the nose and the mouth when he flips over the towel. Now he's going to take each side, 
and roll it in just a little bit. Do you need help? Oh, yeah, I cannot do it without you all. Oh, okay. <laughs> Would you like to help me? One, two, and three. <laughs> yeah. Now, while he's rolling that other side up there, Pooja, do you have any family at home? Yes, I am. I have about two kids at home. Two kids at home. Uh, what about a wife? Only one. Only one. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a friend around here. And how about you, Andrew? I'm still living with my parents. Uh, and I'm still single. Uh, okay. <laughs> Can't do sales pitches here. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Now you have um, uh, almost done. You can see it. This is the nose that we folded before. Right. All right. Okay. So now he's got. To, you got to flip those two. Yep. The two parts down at the top and yep. get some nice big floppy ears for the dog. So he's just separating it. Now a little cheat. If it's your first time folding at home, I take those rubber bands that I use for my hair and I'll tie it around the towel to hold it together. It just helps a little bit. Or another little trick if you wash your towels and you know that point in the dryer where they're just dry or still a little bit damp, take them out and fold them at that point and they'll dry and stay a little bit better for you too. So sticking some eyeballs on, resting it between the, the front of the dead chicken. Oh, cross the legs, make sure it's proper. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> Towel that's a move. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's so cute. I've got one eye. <laughs> there we go, so we've got a dog. laundry. It's exactly like this. This is how they pick up the fresh towels to carry them up the stairs. So all you do, you fold it in a triangle, you stand it up, you've got a seal. <laughs> wow, this a beautiful seal ever I see. The response was underwhelming. Can I have some eyes? Do you have any whiskers? This is yours. They're both not impressed. Here we go. Right? It's not that hard. Make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I say we do a monkey for our final one. Okay, um, the last is a monkey. This is, uh, I believe, your uh, favorite one. Mm -hmm. So the monkey is the uh, same things with the body of the dog. Do you see the robe they made chicken for the monkey? We call it chicken dead. <laughs> All right, so. Yeah, I get a big, I make it uh, What's happening? He gonna make it the, he gonna make the, Monkey, he the bigger one. Yes, you Yes, I get a hard time for him. Yes. And then I'm gonna make a baby monkey. Baby. So he's gonna make a smaller version for you. So, in order to do the monkey, remember it's the same as the body for the dog. And that is two egg rolls turned into? Turned into a? All right, so let's help him out because this is our last keep on rolling bit. Hold on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Goodness gracious. On the count of three. One, two, three. Keep on rolling, baby. So he's going to do the first one. Roll it all the way to the center. I get jealous. That's for him. Now it's for me. Yeah. One, two, and three. Keep on rolling, baby. It's the last animal. We better hear it. You got to give it all you got. Wait. Oh, I'm so exciting now. That's very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a killer. Right. He's not he's not so much fun to him. Okay. <laughs> On the count of three, Pucho, you count for him this time. Right. One, two, three. Keep on rolling, baby. I'm sweating up here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we got two. What do we do? Fold in half, get four egg rolls. Now what's Pucho going to do? And Hendra. <laughs> I, they call them feet. Pull out the corners <laughs> of the towels. <laughs> Pull out all four corners of the towels, and then what do they do? Opposites. You grab opposites, two in one hand, two in the other, pull nice and tight, and you have a? Rubber chicken. A dead chicken. There we go. So we've got the baby one here and a big one there. There was another hanger there somehow. So now we're just going to use a pair of a pant hanger, or a set of pant hangers. Yeah, and sometimes we do pull just before. When we make the monkey, we stole in your hanger. <laughs> Your clothes are on the floor. Yeah, now you know why. Yeah. <laughs> so just gonna clip one hand in either one. 
and uh, sorry Chitney, I uh, would like to explain to the uh, I mean to the there all of you. Okay. I saw there's the two actually I can make maybe around four kind of hat. So, I mean, monkey head. Yeah, we have a different style for the for the uh, faces. Sometimes that depends on ourselves. If we still get uh, a little bit sad, well, the monkey will be. But it's gonna be like different. If we happy, the monkey will. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll make the happy three monkey. Three guesses to which word Hendra is. <laughs> Thank you, Sydney. Uh, give you the smiley monkey. Someone's gonna get the smiley yeah. monkey here. Uh, so. Is, uh, little bit. Maybe look like uh, easy, but sometimes you need mm, more attention with what you are holding there. So focus. Yes, there. So here you he's focus. going to drape it over and kind of yeah. do a little S fold here. Yeah, because uh, I cannot make the folding like this and then like this because uh, I need to like uh, like you all spread your linen like that because you will be see later. Okay, so he just folded it up there. And now what he's gonna do? And then you just get get. And all that's going to happen is by those little folds he created, it created the mouth and the eyes and the little forehead. And he uses the excess part of the towel to hang it through the back so that it locks it into This is the monkey I think I placed on the middle of Mr. Owen's uh, room, right? Uh, Here, right. I'll show you where you can put it. I have an idea. I have a better hit for it. Uh, not yet. Uh, no, hold on one second. Yeah, because Just, I need to make... Uh, no, 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 hold on one second. Hold on one second. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Put your head in. Put your head in. <laughs> okay, I give you one chance. One second. This is only in Holland America Land. Come on. <laughs> now you have a beautiful monkey. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to mess up your monkey. Right. Can you tell the serious one is up here? <laughs> For the last one there. So That's a beautiful head. I cannot make it that one. <laughs> Wait for me. Peter's back there, but he's hiding behind the